Okay, so here's question uh, 19 and 20. Um, a box contains 8 red balls and 13 blue. So all together, there are, uh, I'm sorry, 8 and 5, I was adding them in my head. There's 13 all together, okay. Um, you randomly select 3 at the same time, and we want the probability um, that 2 of them are red, okay. So if we have 13 to choose from, and we're going to pull three out at the same time, and we want two of them to be red, then that means that we have eight of the reds to choose two from. Okay, and you can write that as eight choose two like that if you prefer that notation. And then for the last one, because it has to be, um, if it says exactly two of them, are red, it doesn't say at least, then the other one has to be blue. So the other one's going to come from that group of five of the blues. Okay, so that's the total number of ways of choosing the, um, the red and the blue. If we want to make that a probability, it's always out of something, right? Like there's a one in two chance that it'll rain today, or, you know, there's a one in ten probability that, you know, they'll name the royal baby Alexander or whatever. But it's always a probability out of something. So what is out of here is, if we think about it, we're, we have 13 balls in, in the container, and we're going to choose three of them. So the number of ways of choosing three just randomly without any sort of restrictions on what colors and stuff is the 13 choose three. So if we take the eight choose two and we multiply that by the five choose one, that's the total number of ways of selecting two reds and one blue, out of the total number of ways of selecting three random, then that becomes our probability. And so that's going to come out as a decimal. You can multiply it by 100 to make it a percent. It just, it's just a matter of personal preference which way you state it. But that's how we figure that out, okay? You could also leave it as a fraction if you want to as well. So, question 20. Four cards are selected at once from a deck of 52 cards, and we want the probability that you get one from each suit. So, again... Um, there's 13 of each suit, right? So we have a 13 choose 1 probability of getting one from the first suit and then one from the second suit and one from the third suit and one from the fourth suit. So that's going to be your four cards that you're selecting and you're going to be selecting them out of a group of 52 cards and so to make it into a probability we have to consider the number of ways of just taking 52 cards and pulling four cards out. Okay, so that's a 52 choose four. And so if you multiply the 13 times 13 times 13 times 13 here, um, and you put it over the 52 choose four, you're going to get your probability either as a decimal or a fraction or a percent, and I'll let you work that out. Um, but that's all there is to do. So these are really um, sort of logic, problem-solving type questions because you really have to kind of create a plan when you read the question and follow through with that plan really systematically in order to get what they're asking for. The more of them you do, the more you see that they fit into two or three different kinds of categories of questions and all they're doing is changing whether it's, you know, dice or cards or balls or marbles or whatever but it's the same kind of question. There's about three different categories um, of those, and once you figure that out, then everything will just fit right into one of those patterns.